that's one of those one of those deals where in a very important game, a uh, lot of emotion involved being senior day. I, I just tell you, a lot of emotion involved with Nick and Doug, um, with senior day and our guys wanting to want to get a win for us. Um, also keeping it, keeping trying to stay in contention for a championship. I mean that's that's that's, that's huge, and I, and I, I think our guys kind of had some some nerves. And I thought Loyola came in here, nothing to lose, down a few men, and uh, and really played a, a very good basketball game. Their three-point shooting kept them in it, uh, and uh, their ability to attack inside. Uh, we went deep in our bench. If we didn't play our bench tonight, uh, we don't win the basketball game. So uh, it was a great team effort. I thought, you know, the second half we got down, we didn't panic, uh, which is important. We had a lot of guys make some runs. I think Ray had a run there where he kind of kept us in and extend the lead. Then Nick got going. The big corner three was a huge play. Doug sitting out with four fouls, uh, comes right in and gets a, a three-point play. And he had been a, a good three-point free throw shooter, finishes a play. Uh, and that's what you have to do uh, uh, down, down the stretch. We decided we went man and zone down the stretch. And I thought that helped us. That last possession, we said we we're going to man up. And we were switching ball screens. And then uh, their point guard just took Nick right to the basket to get the uh, basket. And we knew we had a timeout. I think it was 9.2. We had got the ball. We ran a, a play that we called Titan. And uh, we wanted to get the ball to Ray or Jason. And we wanted to attack right away and send guys to the basket to try to tip it in if we missed it. And thank goodness, Jason. I mean, it took his time. He used to play with attack with poise and concentration. He's great at finding seams and, uh, and, and had great concentration to finish through uh, a lot of arms and bodies. And uh, after not having a good shooting night, uh, but, uh, you know, he makes free throws and, um, you know, he closed it out with the game winner. That's a sign of a good player. No, I, I think we clinched third place tonight, okay? And then depending what happens tonight uh -huh. around the league, um, you know, we have to win another game. We have to win Saturday, have to beat UIC, and I think that clinches uh, second place, which means we hit a bye to the semifinals, which will be played a week from Saturday. Um, so uh, either here or there. And we will win the tiebreaker with another win. No, I, I think it could be. It'd probably be us all outright. Am I right? If you went out. Yeah, if we win Saturday, right. it's us outright. And um, have, have you ever had that situation here as coach? I can't. My, my memory is just isn't that great. Did you ever get the double buy into the semi as coach? No, not since I've been here. No, right. no, well, no, no, yeah. no, no. Not since I've been here. So, uh, you know. So with us, depending on what happens tonight, as, as I've said to our players, you can only control what you do, how you play. And, um, you know, the, the game, of course, after, after the press conference, we'll be watching the, the score to see what happens. But regardless, uh, it's about us, you know, controlling our own destiny, uh, trying to get better down the stretch and finding ways to win. And, and that, was, that was a great example uh, today uh, for us. Uh, we worked Juwan Howard back in. You know, he didn't play in the Wichita game. Uh, he gave us a, a gutsy uh, effort. Uh, getting off the injured list and uh, getting out there and, and, uh, and playing for us down the stretch. Uh, Coach, talk a little bit about Temple. You, you got a quick turnaround. How, how does this team actually uh, refocuses to get a, you know, a quick turnaround game on Thursday and get ready for a, a conference game on Saturday? Well, we, we haven't even talked about uh, uh, a Temple. I mean, it's all about the conference now. Uh, after this press conference, I'll go and, and get the guys before they, they leave. We'll get them a scouting report uh, to take with them uh, and to pack because uh, we'll be leaving from Callahan, hopefully, uh, at uh, 1030 tomorrow morning. Uh, so quick, we hope, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that's kind of that's our, our schedule. I mean, it's a challenging schedule, as you know. You're saying, why are we playing Temple now? Uh, you know, 
and you got to play the schedule that's in front of you. But uh, we had this situation before where we couldn't get out. It's a weather situation, and then we tried to work it in uh, between their facilities and the best time for them. Uh, you know, that's why this game is scheduled. Well, I, I think so because, uh, I mean, it, it was a game that, uh, I mean, you know, we could have lost. And uh, I'm sure you sitting there was like wondering, I mean, you know, are, are we going to be able to pull it out? And there was, you know, a play after play that we had to make uh, to, uh, you, know, to, you know, to get this win. And we'll have a lot of things to point to, uh, you know, to grow as a team. And, and, and it's important as we head into March that you continue to get better and grow if you want to win a championship. And uh, we're in a race. That's what I'm proud of. Our guys are in a race. We're able to stay in it uh, with, a, with a great effort tonight. Also, just any word you have about the staying in football Well, I, I tell you, there was a lot of emotion involved, just not from those two, but from everyone. I mean, there's guys you know, in, in the huddle, in the pregame talk, wanted to send these guys out, uh, uh, you know, uh, on top and, and with a win. And uh, so I'm extremely happy. I, I talk a lot about you're going to remember your last game, you're going to remember your last home game, you're going to remember your senior day. And uh, with them having their families here, we're really proud of them. Uh, they've just been a, a big key in, into uh, putting us in position to win the championship. So I'm really happy, happy for them. Uh, so. Um, Wow. Coach, uh, trying not to look too far ahead, if you guys do win Saturday at USC and uh, get second place, what is the impact of that week off? Do you, what, what is the impact? Well, we, uh, you know, we, we don't go deep in our bench. Um, we, we've rolled, uh, we rolled a lot of, we've rolled about five or six guys. And, uh, but what I've seen is we're still growing and getting better, even in the loss to Wichita. Uh, we had we did some good things. We had a chance to win that ball game. We were in it, and um, so you, you know you try to heal up a guy like Jawan Howard. Uh, you, you know you hopefully you know can get get better towards move towards healthy. Uh, you always want to rest Nick, Ray, Jason, who, who logged major minutes, uh, but you know, also you want to stay sharp, and you have to stay hungry, and um, you can't you can't get soft. Uh, so we'll be pushing them in practice. We'll give them a couple days off, just kind of get their legs. Uh, it's spring break uh, for us, uh, but we'll be taking a lot of their time. Uh, you know, it'll be film sessions in the morning. It'll be extra shooting. It'll be, uh, you know, execution type practices. And, um, you know, it's, it's a good time. It's just us and, and, and basketball. You don't have to worry about uh, uh, us going to class. You just focus on, on your game. Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, Loyal, that was a good team we played tonight. Um, we knew that coming in. And, uh, you know, like you said, is every time we kind of made a run, they were right there. They stuck with us the whole game. Um, and, and they were, you know, they were up majority of the time. And uh, really, all of our timeouts, we were just, you know, saying we just got to come back, just play together as a team, get some stops on defense. And uh, luckily, you know, we just kind of chipped away. And, um, you know, my dad always says, you know, play into the, to the horn, to the horn sounds. And uh, um, that's what you saw in Jason Khalees tonight, you know, taking it over to the hole and having a nice game winner for us. He struggled. Just talk about that play. Oh, I mean, that was huge for us. Um, um, you know, coming into the timeout, we, we figured that they were going to press a little bit. And, uh, uh, you know, that's one of our plays. And he got the ball in his hand. and. Um, nine seconds left, went coast to coast. And uh, Jason's always good at that. You know, uh, a lot of people, that was a tough shot he hit. But for him, you know, that's kind of an easy shot. We see him do that every day in practice. And uh, just real happy for him to, um, to have a big, you know, moment like that. And it was, it was huge for our team. And just happy we got the win. So, Ray, after he struggled so much during the game offensively, you realistically thought he was going to make that, though? I mean, I'm in, in that situation I, when when the game is on the line. Um, I, I don't think you, you're thinking about the shots that you missed. I mean, mm -hmm. uh, especially Jason. He he, he always, you know, um, he, any shooter, you know, that everyone's gonna have their off night. Um, but you, like I said, you just gotta keep playing to the end. 
and uh, he's a big time player and you know plays with a lot of heart and um, he just kind of wheeled that thing in there and uh, you know he's a strong guard and that was just a big time play and uh, <laughs> as soon as I saw it leave his hands I just I had the perfect angle and I knew it was good and first thing I could do is run up and give him a hug I was so happy for him so it was, it was a nice. Uh, I mean, it was definitely emotional. You know, you never know how the the tournament's gonna shake down. If uh, if Alpo loses in the first round, you know, we might be back here for the for the finale. But yeah, it was definitely emotional, and uh, it was it was good good to go out and win. That's for sure. Yeah, when it, when it got close, uh, you know, it should have never been a close game to begin with, but. You know, when it came down to it, uh, you know, like Ray said, Jason hit a hit a shot that we've seen him hit a, a thousand times in practice every day, and you know, we got the win. Uh, yeah, I mean, this is uh, you know, we know that we're we're gonna get every team's best game, and um, like you said, this will definitely prepare us for the tournament because. From this point out, everyone's fighting for their season to stay alive. Um, I know we have two two games left and um, one regular season conference game, um, but after that, you know, after this week, I mean, it's it's really do or die. Um, this was big for our team today to show you got to keep playing to the end. Um, anything can happen. Uh, I think it was about a week and a half ago, um, we were down 15 points to Valparaiso, and uh, you know, we just we just keep fighting to keep battling back, and anything can happen. We've won games that way, and we've and we lost games that way, and. That's something that we've learned in an area we've grown in as a team this year. Both of you guys, uh, you guys know, you got a quick turnaround this week um, on Thursday and Saturday. You know, you, you both know we the team's done it two or three times this season. Are you guys concerned at all about the two game thing? You think guys think we'll be ready to go? Uh, I mean, I think we uh, we'll do fine. We've had four games in a week already before, and you know, re regardless who we're playing and, and how far we have to travel, we've we've come to pr we've come to play. Uh, yeah, I mean, we've, we've, uh, I mean, this is, you know, we set the schedule up to be ready for opportunities like this. Um, fatigue isn't an issue right now. It's, it's coming down to just really grinding the rest of the season out, um, playing together as a team and finishing out our goal is to get back to the Horizon League Championship and win and uh, get back to the NCAA tournament. And you control your own destiny, so to speak, Ray. You could win Saturday, you clinch second place, get that bye for the first and second round. And I know that didn't happen. Um, I mean, that would be huge for us. Um, you know, last year, uh, I mean, we, we had to go the hard way, um, you know, which is fine. You know, this team is capable of doing that. But I think it was – I think we had to win four games to win the championship. And, uh, um, you know, that, that takes a lot of energy out of you. But last year, this team, we were able to, st you know, sustain and our energy and, and, and find a way to pull it out. Um, this year, hopefully, you know, getting this win Saturday, um, you know, we can have the number two seed and uh, have a bye to the semifinals. And uh, just because we have a bye, I mean, it doesn't mean it's going to be any easier. Um, we, we know we're going to have to come ready to play. And, uh, you know, our main focus is winning the championship, and uh, we have to do anything we can to, to make it happen. Ray, is it weird mentally to think that you guys are playing Temple at this point in the season? Um, I'm, no, I, I want to say it's really weird. Um, I mean, it, like, you know, playing Wichita last week, uh, it was a little different. Um, but I, I, I liked it, and I think it's good for our team to, 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 to face some, some good competition uh, right before our tournament. And uh, it, it only makes you a better team. And uh, uh, I think it's nice to, to face someone outside of your conference who knows all your plays and everything about you so well and to get the opportunity to see where you stack up against uh, a, top a top team. As of late, both of you guys have seemed like you're playing at all cylinders. Nick, you, you've been running for most everyone on the court, and Ray, you've been uh, driving and getting easy points against Al. You guys both seem like uh, now, at this time of the season, that you guys are really rolling and you've you got your fire going and it's for going towards overtime. Yeah, I think uh, you know the last two years, you know, we. You know, in the beginning, like any team, you know, we got five, you know, pretty much uh, different starting lineups. So, you know, coming into the end of the season, you know, it seems like uh, the last two years we've, <coughs> we've clicked right at the, at the right time. And, you know, no 
little bit of time than right before the week before the tournament? Um, I, I think, uh, you know, to piggyback on what Nick said, you know, um, but I think one of the main things, especially for all of his success, is he, he's a hard worker. Nick's in the gym every morning. You know, there's not a morning that you don't see Nick Nick in here either working out in the weight room, doing rehab, working on a shot. And I think it's really paid off. And, you know, him scoring and, and being so aggressive on both ends has, has really been huge for our team um, because it opens up everything for, for everyone. And uh, we're, he's just playing like a senior, like he doesn't want a season to end. And we're just really trying to follow his lead. And um, he's just leading the way for us right now, which is big. Nick, do you think this game kind of summed up your type of career? You know, coming here as a transfer, uh, having a great senior year or junior year, and then getting hurt, and then working hard and coming back and having a good year this year. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I didn't want it to be as close as it was today, that's for sure. It should have never been like that. But you always want to go out on a win, and uh, today we just we just wasn't, weren't going to let that happen. So it was a good win for us, and, you know, it's been a pleasure playing in Callahan. Ray, are you at all worried um, if we do clinch to make a sheet the sheet season get the week off um, that, that it could be a layoff? Or do you think that you're going to be able to come through that or get a layoff? Oh, no, I, th I think we'll be fine. Um, I, I can't remember the exact game. But I think recently we had like a, a week off before we played our, our next game. And um, we came out and played strong. I mean, if anything, it will it will give us some time to get our, our legs back and, and, and get our bodies you know ready to go. Um, <clears throat> By that time, it's like I said, it's do or die. You know, we we can't come out and play flat and and not play tough because we're playing for you know our lives to get back to the tournament. And uh, I mean, it's just you just got to play. You know, know how how many how much time you're off or whatever. You just got to play.